Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker HD. And now we need to head down south. We're going to visit a beetle shop along the way, which looks special according to our, our brand new beetle chart. And then we're going to head down south to Outset Island before the pirates get there and before it gets destroyed so we can get the final pearl. So that is what we're going to do. And I might even swing past uh, Great Fish Isle while we're there. I think that's actually the island that I need to go to over there, right? Yeah, I think I was going slightly the wrong way, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. There's a shark in the water. And I'm okay somehow. For the moment. Ah! Please throw my boomerang. I keep pressing the button, and if you... Hold, keep pressing the button when it's already out. It just brings it back. We'll see, yeah, but my, my rupee wallet is just full. There's also a few other islands around that I could go check out as well. At some point. There's some, I mean, there's a lot of islands we haven't visited yet, so. That's just how it is. I don't know why I just started going through the 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 flag things. Because that's only gonna get me rupees, and I've I just said that I can't get any more rupees. Anyway. This island is a lot further away than I realized. Because when you look at the map and see the the squares, uh the islands actually could be in either in the center or one of the corners and be a lot smaller than the actual square itself. But anyway, it's fine. Oh, also there's three lookouts there. Interesting. Well, we're almost at this island over here. We need to find Beetle. And I could also find the fish while I'm here as well. Since I've still got a fair bit of bait to use. Oh, there's Beetle. And there's the fish. Let me see if I can get them both in one, one go. Um, no, it looks like I'm just going to have to go for Beetle. So let's stop. Beetle should stop once we're right next to him, so... Which is quite nice. Let's just get aboard, please. Just get aboard, aboard, please. Get onto the barrel. There we go. Up, Link. Please, Link, do it. Thank you. Okay. So this special beetle shop has a bottle, an empty bottle, a piece of heart, and a treasure chart. Oh, a fine welcome to you, young person that I've never seen before. You're so lucky to meet me at this time. This shop will close in just seven more days. And I'm having a clearance sale. Use the left stick to browse. Empty bottle. MSRP. This is my last one. Piece of heart. Open peak price. This one is my one of, this is my last one of these too. And true chart, current price. The price may be high, but I'll it'll pay off handsomely in the end. Um I don't know what those special prices means. Empty bottle, is it mere five hundred rupees? Oh! <sighs> Piece of heart? Nine hundred and fifty rupees. Oh! Treasure chart, current price. <gasps> 900 rupees again. Oh my goodness. Let's buy the bottle, because that's all we can afford. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You're happy. I'm happy. We're all happy. Cool. Bye. And now I'm pretty sure that will be replaced with something else if we come back. Probably. Let me check that. Just to make sure I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's replaced with regular bombs, so you can refill on those if you need to. Well, anyway, let's move on uh, and head south if we can to Great Fish. I can't tell which direction I'm going. Not south, that's for sure. I can also get the fish while I'm here, since I'm I've moved somehow or was moved. Okay, fish, fish. Okay, give me a map and information about this island. Oh, 
Ahoy, small fry. What's this cold? This is cold. Rock Spire Isle. I wonder how long it's been since the light of Windfall's lighthouse went dark. It was quite a grand sight, I tell you. The way that light, ray of light shone out like a shaft of gold through the cold darkness. I used to gaze at it with, uh, dear Gillian. Anyway, I bet someone could shoot a powerful spark into the top of that lighthouse. It would be, it would light up again. Of course, that's just my intuition talking. Then again, you should never doubt Fisher's intuition, small fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. That's a lot, of, that's a inf interesting information about not this island. <laughs> Just have to point that out, that's, that's windfall you're talking about. But anyway, let's uh, change the wind direction to south. So that we can go there much faster. Hopefully. And go past uh, Greatfish while we're right next to it. Also, there's some enemy ships we can actually... I think we can actually attack these with a boomerang, actually. I might be wrong about that, but we can also use a cannon to shoot them. Whenever you defeat them, they'll also leave a, a glowing spot on the water. I don't know if that sticks around, though. And I don't think it has anything important in it. But anyway... Just want to get a little bit closer to this great fish. Isle. Which I'm almost there. Oh, there's also the fish that is tempting me, but it's on the wrong side of the island for me to bother with it right now. But anyway, if we get a little bit closer to over here, just a little bit closer, we can see this rock thing just sticking out of the water. Which is not exactly... Well, I guess we can kind of see it. But I just wanted to point that out for the moment, so... It's, it doesn't do anything, but I just wanted to point it out. Because it looks cool. But for the meantime, let's keep going. And it looks like I'm not quite at the right angle. There we go. Now we just need to keep sailing. We, we should re reach outset. Also be careful of this island here, because it's a, a literal fortress, basically. Just lots of cannons around it, and gunboats. These waves are very wavy. Not too wavy, though. So that's a toll island over there. Man, it feels so slow sailing right now. But that's probably because we have to travel all the way across the map to get to where we need to be. Looks, looks like we can see it from here, though. On the horizon. Man, the storm is so cool. Oh, shark. Shark. Why shark? Why, why shark? Why? Oh, what was that? Was that thunder? I think that was thunder. Except it sounded like a, a sea hat to me. Oh my goodness, so many sharks. There's three sharks. Okay, they're gone. I think they're sharks. Oh, there's another one. Jump over you. This reminds me a lot of Sea of Thieves. And, I, and that's a good comparison of the feeling of sailing, I guess. I just like sailing. I, I don't know what it is. I 
I need to play some more Sea of Thieves, actually. Sea of Thieves, actually. But anyway, we're close enough to see the fish, which means we're basically right here. As it starts getting taller and taller, the closer we get. But anyway, we're told to that the thing... Oh, wow, we're here. <laughs> Teleportation. Have you noticed, Link? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle. The land that was so ravaged by monsters. It is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is a, the curse that Vlu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. Well, let's do that then. It's been such a while, long while since we were last here. Oh, uh, uh. Link, Errol, don't go, don't leave. Uh, don't leave your poor old grandma all alone. Uh, uh. That's a nice picture of Link and Errol in the crawls there. Also a picture of Errol above the the fireplace. But anyway, can't talk to Grandma. So we'll have to come back to that. Uh, but there's a few other places we can go. Which I might need to check out. I want to check out the other house way over this way as well. Oh my goodness, there's a blue rupee up the top of that. Oh, choose. There's choose. Can I... Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button because... The the boomerang set to my R button, which is weird for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why that feels weird to me. But anyway, since it's night time, I want to actually go into this house because at you, at night you can actually do something. I'm pretty sure it's only at night. We can look around here for one thing. See the pictures of trees and flowers and grass. See this guy who was cutting the lawns. The fireplace. But also the little hole underneath his bed. Eh, hey, Link! Is that you, Link? Whoa! You kinda startled me there, buddy. I thought more of those monsters had come to harass me. I tell you, there have been a lot of strange things going on here at night lately. I haven't gotten a good night's sleep in ages because of it. And I love sleep. In fact, I saw something really odd just a little while ago. Of course, this was back before the bridge had was destroyed. Oh, the bridge is destroyed. It was up in the fairy woods near the old dried up fountain. I saw this tall girl who glowed like a fairy, which was odd enough. But then she vanished into that rock. Really, I saw it with my own eyes. We might need to check that out then, even though the bridge is destroyed apparently. Uh, but anyway, under this hole in his bed is actually a treasure chest with a red rupee. What a, what a pleasant surprise. I was hoping that would be more than that, but anyway. I just want to point out that that is there. Which means there's 120 rupees just up for grabs if you can crawl. Since there's also the 100 underneath Grandma's house. But anyway, I think we could talk to some other people in, uh, on, in, uh, on the island. But I think we should also go up and check what he was talking about with the dried up fountain. Oh my goodness. I can't remember what these are called. I think they're... I can't remember. I can't. They're imps, basically. Implings? No. That's Splatoon. Inkling. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I can't remember, but anyway. We can also see a gigantic whirlpool behind the island. I'm sure that's fine. Ah, uh, but first, I actually want to... 
I sh oh, I bought an empty bottle. I'm brilliant. Uh, no, but it's, it's fine. I want to get out my leaf, and I want to change the wind direction. I think I can do this, right? And then change it to that way. So that we can hopefully jump across here and float into the woods. So we can actually get back over this way, even though the bridge is gone. It's quite lucky for us. It just shows how much we've done since we were uh, last here. Now, there's also some enemies here that we can take out as well. Just a rupee. Oh, there's also the spiky things in the tunnel. I did see those moblins. But I might... No, I might actually get them now. Let me just grab that from you. Thank you. And then that one from you. Thank you. And I guess I can take you out because I'm down here now, so... Oh my goodness, they, they hit each other? That's impre in ugh. incredible. Man, these spiky things are going to be annoying. Get rid of that. Hit you. Ow. Nice. Ow. Oh, my pain. My pain. Also, if they don't have their weapon, they'll try to get it back by running towards it. Okay, that's that one. That one's not quite done. Just blocking my attacks. Come on, attack me. <laughs> Why did you do that? Ow. Stop stabbing me. I'm trying to get you. There we go. You're done. But anyway, we can get all the rupees from them. And also a bit of health back. And they also drop bombs apparently now, so that's good. If we need to get the bombs back. So let's grab all those, since I'm going to need rupees again. <laughs> since we need 950 plus another 900 for everything in that special beetle shop. Now, let me just quickly go around the edge here so I can go back quickly. Because now we've got bombs. Any rock that looks like this, which we've seen before on Dragon Roost, we can actually blow it up. So, let's do that. And a hole is revealed. So we can go into a grotto. But this isn't any ordinary grotto, because this is, of course, a great fairy fountain. Look at the tiny great fairy. Oh, now it's a big great fairy. <laughs> Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. We can now carry more rupees. Now you can hold up to 1,000 rupees. That'll be helpful. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. When you grow fa fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. So now, we can come back here whenever we want to get more fairies. So let's put one of those in a bottle. And let's get out of here. Also, they look very upset when they're in a bottle. But anyway, we can also just grab a ton at once, which is quite satisfying, I guess. But yeah, that's our first fairy fountain. Also, the the wallet, now that we can hold up to a thousand rupees, uh, there's an extra digit, a zero, at the bottom of the screen. Uh, and also, the rupee is now a blue rupee instead of a green rupee. I'm going to grab that from you. And also, that from you. No, 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 no. I need, I need, I need that. Thank you. Now let me get out of here before I die. Go, Link. Go, 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 go. It's fine. I don't need to fight them again. But I did get four skull necklaces from them. Because of getting them both twice. Uh, now let me jump off of here. I probably should have equipped my leaf. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. It's fine. I'll get new ones. Um... Let's go over this way. The mailbox is dancing, apparently. I can check that. 
Good evening. Here's a letter. I'm sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please throw the letter away without a second thought. But this is your big chance! Do you have need of an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or a treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices, but we have only one of each. If you're interested, go to the shop, shop ship near I Rock Spire Island. First come, first served. I can't wait to serve you. To those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Rock Sh Spire Shop Ship. We also get a green rupee. Better collect lots of them. So yeah, advertisement for the place that we've already got a bottle from. But now, let's visit Grandma again. And now, going right up to Grandma, targeting and then using the fairy bottle. We can heal Grandma. Bring her out of her restless sleep. Oh, Link, is that you? Grandma is always happy to see your bright, shining face. Link, my dear sweet Link. You're safe. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister, Errol, are trying so hard to be strong. I've just been sitting here, moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Link, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. And we get elixir soup. This healthy soup your grandmother makes replenishes all of your life energy. And magic power, power. Your attack is also double strong until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. And your kind old grandmother filled your bottle so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime you like. Grandma's going to be trying to be strong. Why does that text go by, but don't do anything reckless, alright? Why does that text just skip by itself? That's weird, anyway. But now we can come back to grandmother anytime we have an empty bottle and no extra elixir because we're gonna have one. And we can get that and that's really good, so. Anyway, let's go on. I feel like I was supposed to talk to somebody else specifically, but I don't know who. Yep. But I guess I can check up here. With this guy. Or possibly the swordsman. I feel like they're the kind of people who would tell me what I need to do. Oh, hello. Is, is that you, Link? Well, looks as though you're safe. That's good to know. The island has really taken a turn for the worse since you left. I'm sure you noticed them. The monsters, those horrible creatures, they rampage through town every night after dark. I'm scared. Too scared. Oh, Link. You've come back. And in one piece too. Gracious. The island has fallen on hard times lately, my young lad. You must have noticed all the monsters on your way here tonight. They come after dark to ravage our poor little village. And yet it seems they are not here to harm us villagers. Quite puzzling. I'm sure you don't mind me uh, breaking your pots and leaving. Goodbye. Check a few more places before moving on. Ah, Link. You are alright. Why did you not tell me about Errol? That was thoughtless of you. This island has seen hard times ever since you departed. Hmm, I do not know what you have been doing on your journey, but you seem a little more daring these days. That look in your eye is not the one you left here with. Very good, show me just how much uh, you've improved your sword skills. 
Okay. <laughs> if I must say so, your skills with the sword are still at the level of a page. Very good. Try to hit me a hundred times or more before I hit you three times. So we can only get hit three times and we need to hit him a hundred times. Which apparently is a lot harder than I remember for some reason. Also, I need to press the right button for shield because that's also helpful. I remember there also being a strategy to this. I think it's just repeatedly just mash the attack button. Maybe. I can't remember though. Although I think it also just might be get into a corner and keep attacking. 28 blows, eh? Remember though, you may grow in strength. Others grow stronger as well. You may come here to practice as often as you'd like. I will always be happy to face off against you. I might try that again because I feel like I can do a lot better than that if I'm actually trying. Come on, and good enough, I'm done. Hit me. Hit me again, please, I beg you. Enough! Ah, 105 blows, you have improved. I guess it was wrong of me to treat you like you are still a lowly page. You are a page no more. You are a knight. Knight, it is not much, but it is now yours. Take this with you. Can we get a purple rupee? That's fif worth 50 rupees. That, that's just great. And there we go. I guess we should move on then. Uh, I guess nobody's actually going to tell me where to actually go, but I, I mean, we should know where to go at this point. Uh, there's just one other person that I saw earlier that I want to talk to to see if they have any information which would be interesting, but I'm curious. I'm curious. I have to know. Also, I don't think there's anyone up there, probably. But I did see someone way up here, actually. So I want to check that. Come on. Let's go. There's also these guys here. Oh, they're called mini blends. That's right. I remember. I think that's called what they're called anyway. But anyway, there's this guy with a telescope up here. Oh, so close. If only I could fly to the top of that hill, if only. Beneath that rock head. The triumph. Tr the tr triumph? Oh, I nearly spoke aloud without thinking. It is a secret. Yes, quite a secret. Okay, you'll talk about something else entirely. But anyway, we should have a look at that. Whirlpool behind the island, probably. Oh, and I can see the rockhead that he's talking about. But anyway, it's fine. But also, no, nah, okay. There's a lot of chews here. And you can fight them if you so choose. Can I please? Okay. Are you ready? If that is the case, then we must search for the cave around the back side of the uh, of Outset, where Jaboon is said to hide. So I guess you're just supposed to ha ha say hello to everyone again, and then you can just leave whenever you want. But anyway, let's head to the back of the island. And I probably want to actually set this bombs to Y, so... Since that's an easier button to press than the D-pad. So, if we go into the whirlpool over here. We're close to it. We get pulled in and much like the gigantic Octoroks that we've had to fight, we have to defeat something before we can get in. And this door that we're shooting at should look familiar since there was a broken part of it sticking above the surface that I pointed out on Great Fish Isle. But we need to do this quickly, break down this door quickly before we get pulled into the middle, otherwise we'll get pulled down into the whirlpool. Can I actually reach this? I feel like I'm doing a very bad job of this, but anyway. There might be a certain angle that I have to shoot at. You can see where you're shooting at using the line on the screen. I would recommend- oh my goodness, I'm almost out of bombs. 
should probably not waste them. <laughs> if I hope to survive. Oh no. That bomb didn't count because I was, you know, cutscene thing. Come on. There we go. Somehow that worked. I'm assuming there would probably be a way to get more bombs if we ran out. But since I didn't have to worry about that, it's fine. Well met indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one ha possesses. I do. It is the only way. You got Nehru's Pearl. The water spirit Jaboon was kind enough to give you this jewel, a treasure of one of the goddesses. So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of, of, of the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on the, your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the provi uh, proving grounds for your courage will be the proving grounds for your courage will then will become apparent. Clearly the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be uh, greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on Outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. So there we go. We're done here for now. And we can go to the places marked on our sea chart. But anyway... For now, that is it, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.